So you have preclinical, which are the first three years, and then clinical the last three years. Students who apply to do medicine in Cambridge spend the first three years doing mostly the basic core clinical sciences. And in third year you can do whatever you like to do. So I did pharmacology, but my friends did management or law. In my third year I'm doing pathology. I'm also doing a project at this point as well, so kind of doing my own research and I'm a scientist now, so that's really exciting. Then your second three years are your clinical course and you come to the clinical school and you have a combination of lectures and teaching on the boards. In the clinical course, the focus of the teaching is very much for students to learn on the wards and in general practice surgeries from patients with supervision. There is a graduate entry programme which is an accelerated four-year course where students come with a first degree in any other subject. Successful applicants will join the standard course in Cambridge and spend the first two years studying alongside 18, 19 year olds. But at the same time, during the vacations, they attend Bury St Edmunds Hospital. Then in their third and fourth year, they join up with the standard course again and complete their clinical training. The preclinical course at Cambridge is distinctive in the way in which it emphasises the scientific training for students so that they come to understand the connection between the scientific and the clinical. Another distinctive part of the Cambridge course is that we still have uh, students doing dissections of whole bodies across the course of their preclinical work and through that understanding the architecture of the body in a way that is often done in different ways in other places. We have partner hospital trusts across the east of England where students go and they have accommodation and library facilities and so on in the hospitals and they spend periods of time amounting to about half of the course in the regional hospitals. Well career prospects are very good. There's the whole range of medical specialities. So when I finish my course I'm going to start work as a junior doctor and then I'd like to specialise after that and I want to go into hospital medicine. The favourite at the moment for when I finish this course is uh, going into general practice but I'm also very keen on a couple of the specialities such as paediatrics. Work experience is actually quite useful. Um, a lot of people think work experience is just so you can look good on a personal statement. For me personally it was because I wanted to be sure myself that this is what I want to do. Often when students come to the interview they get very frightened by the idea of an odd question. Admissions interviewers want to get out of you what you can do. Really just treat it as a normal conversation. My advice would be to think out loud because certainly with the Cambridge interview they want to know how you think. So when you have a problem don't just sit there looking baffled and just try to come out with the end answer. Um, actually think out loud, show them your thought process because that's what actually matters, not the fact that you've got a right answer or wrong answer at the end.